Hello and welcome to the third round of interviews for the Software Testing World Cup. This is with Team Army Ants, who uh, are coming to us live from a small town in Romania where they work for a company called HP, which apparently really is as global as HP claims to be. I didn't even know they had offices there to develop software. And the team is called Team Army Ants. Uh, Welcome to the welcome to the show. Thanks for being interviewed. Thank you. And uh, so let's start talking to our uh, team members. We have Ilana, Irina, Lavinia, and Sanda. Did I get that right? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, so the first question I'd like to ask, I think I'll ask it to Irina. Irina is a, if I got this right, a linguist with a few years of experience. You just came into software testing in the past six months. So one of the things I like about this team is the diversity, all the way from new to testing to, to years of experience, which means we got to practice with each other and learn what you were doing. So um, what was the experience for you like? for the regional round, the, the European round arena? Did, did you have fun? Did you learn something? But the initial purpose was more for me to get to know my colleagues because I was very new in the company. So I said, okay, let's do this thing together and see how we work. Um, it was a lot more stressful because normally we would test, we have plenty of time um analyze the requirements to look into the test scenarios and so on. For the competition it's actually happened to high speed. So we had a plan, we tried to stick to it, but we also had to think on our feet and, and act the best. And it was very intense. Yeah. <laughs> actually Irina was the one that told us about the uh, the contest. Yeah. So, so how did you find out about it, uh, Irina? Mm, I mean, um, I take part in a local meetup group for testers, and I also read some blogs and some testing magazines. I wouldn't really remember right now which of, from which of these places I found out. I just at some point, I got an email, and among several things, there was a testing competition. And I said, oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> and I think it was very intriguing because uh, it said something uh, three hours or, or very short time span. And I didn't really think it could, it could be done. So normally, you have much larger amounts of time to test a, a, even just a feature. And also, it was a great way to, to work with other people and, and see how other people think. Not only people who from the team with which we participated, but also uh, people from all around there, the world who describe their experience uh, in blogs or on, online or meetups. So it was very interesting to see how they thought and how they uh, approached the competition and how they felt through it. The idea of the complex is very intriguing because it's hard to find so we were looking to see how exactly we will be scored, how exactly we will uh, differentiate. And yes. so we are happy with the results. <laughs> yeah, and we left um, the scoring. Uh, we, we tried to provide some guidelines to the scoring, but it's, it's, it's almost impossible to say that here's exactly what will be rated on. One thing we did do was we had multiple judges and multiple people would come to conclusions and then we would compare how different they were. And if they were wildly different, then we had to have conversations or throw a third or fourth judge at it because we wanted those to be consistent. Uh, so you are on Twitter, you're blogging or reading blogs, you're reading magazines, you're going to meetups, and you find out about this test competition, which it sounds like it had value for you just the competition itself, uh, getting to know your other team members and sharing and stuff like that. And now you're going to, uh, now you're going to Germany. 
Is that uh, is that like a really common thing to, f to fly your whole team to Germany for a conference? Or I'm guessing that might be a a, a reasonably new experience for you folks. Are you excited about that? Yes. Um, Elena, uh, Ilana, right? It's okay. <laughs> it's new for everybody. My name is is Heuser, H E U S S E R. So your names are more pronounceable than mine. But uh, uh, you've got five years of experience testing for HP in the server uh, automation team. And um, are you looking forward to the Germany trip? Do you have any special plans when you when you get out there? You bought have you, you bought plane tickets, right? You should have plane tickets by now. Yes, for the moment we just have the plane tickets. We didn't have a, a plan for for the team. Uh, probably on Sunday we'll visit the town, and uh, after that we'll uh, be happy to to talk with the other teams to uh, see their experience, exactly their experience, and uh, looking forward also for the. Agile conference, for sure, we'll have a lot of things to learn. Yeah, have you have any of you been to the Agile conference before, or is that new for you? Agile testing days. Um, we have some colleagues that participated last year, and they shared their um, feedback on the event. It was great. Plus, we you know there are a couple of, uh, or more than uh, a few, uh, testing conference in Europe. And um, last year we selected the dry testing uh, conference because I think it brings something new to, to the table, especially in the um, software testing area, compared to the more traditional practices. I will do not give things. <laughs> yeah, um, the Agile testing days, if you haven't been before, there's going to be stuff to do all the time. So all during the day there are sessions, and then at night there's um, parties, there's uh, games, there's a uh, um, um, an opportunity to meet people at and and talk about what I really like to do is talk about not what someone else did, but what I'm going to do with that information, and you can spend the night doing that. And my biggest problem is um. um I'm not the best partier, so, and then I have to get up the next morning and present, or even just to attend. Um, it's amazing there are less people at the opening keynote on the third and fourth day. I wonder why that is, but um, it's a good show, and I uh, look forward to meeting you there. So, uh, Lavinia, you um, you've been testing 14 years, the last four for HP. Everybody here specializes in functional testing. Um, did you have any particular strategy when you went into the European round? What what did you actually plan to do? So like I say, we plan more than we um, ended executing. So we try to anticipate based on the other experience, the other edition for the other continents. Maybe what sort of application? Where can we focus? We prepare the test report a bit in advance, even if it's hard to anticipate uh, what will come. So um, we prepare that. We try to not necessarily assign uh, different areas between ourselves, but try to have some guidelines and rules. For example, we try to have some prefixes to all bugs, so it will be easy to capture them in the end in the report. We did not know if we will have any uh, Category set up in the agile manager. So we try to anticipate a few things and um, be effective during the competition to be able to follow them more. But uh, the reality is that it was we end up spending maybe more than our business. But it was a good experience, and I think we are more ready for the next round because we understood um, where we need to prepare more. But how we act under uh, pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm curious. 
you have four team members. You have uh, application to test. Did you say I'll take this and I'll take this and I'll take that and I'll take that and we'll regroup in an hour or how did you break the application up to make sure that you weren't accidentally testing the same thing or um, a, a, some teams simply do uh, test the same thing and that's just a risk yeah. they take. We wanted to test the same thing or at least have two people because you always, it's good to have two pairs of eyes on mm. the same thing. So. Um, we do, did allocate different uh, features, but we did not necessarily regroup and uh, collaborate that, that much during. I think the secret was that we, we trusted each other with uh, the work that we want to plan and did not feel that we need to uh, check where we are and change our strategy. And we also did our testing on different devices, so each of us had at least two devices different devices for testing. So it's good to organize, but at the same time, we still have the liberty to do what we think is right at the right. So you didn't break it up by features as much as by platform. So I'll do Google Chrome, I'll do Firefox, I'll do iOS, I'll do Android, that sort of breaking it up. We also group by feature, but maybe we, we group by areas. Um, so not, not go into too much details cover at first the application and afterwards we say, well, I focus on this and this and you focus on this and then we, we rotate maybe. That makes so, a lot of sense. Did, did, you, did, you, did you plan to regroup periodically? You've got three hours. How did you use the time? The initial plan was to uh, discuss, like we would discover the application, spend maybe half, let's say 15 minutes um, trying to understand and then decide who does what and then the initial plan was every half hour we would check up on each other and see where we are and see what needs to be changed. We didn't really stick to that plan, but we did every once in a while check up with each other to see, especially when we would find something like uh, some problematic area, we would check with each other to see if the, the finding is valid or stuff like that. Or say, I need to have this area because I did not have enough time, please check it. Mm -hmm. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, and someone mentioned earlier the intensity. That was kind of by design. We tried to make it like a real software project where you've got multiple things coming at you and you've got to figure out what to do. So you've got to figure out what to test. You've got to coordinate as a group. You've got to do the testing. You've got to write the report. And then, of course, you have this input stream, which is the voice of the judges having a conversation. You probably want to watch because you're going to get hints and clues and answers to questions. How did you manage the input stream? Did you just have the, the video going on a, on a monitor? We were actually always in the conference room and we projected the live stream. So we all had access to that. Uh, of course, the volume was really low, so we could concentrate also on the, on the testing. But yeah, that, that's how we did it. And also we had uh, Irina in charge of um, asking the question. Of maybe a little question. So we tried to make the question answering consistent and reasonable. We got, it wasn't as bad as Asia, but there were a, a lot of teams in the European round. Um, what was your experience with getting answers? Did you at least sort of kind of get answers in something like, just like a software project where you don't get immediate answers, but if you complain enough, you usually got something, I hope. In the end, we only had uh, one question. Maybe uh, we should not share this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we listened to what everyone else was asking and the answers. It, it was a bit. Um, difficult to, to follow on the YouTube comments at the same time because I was trying to see uh, if our questions had already been asked and so on and then following through to see what has been asked and what hasn't been already and also informing everyone as okay this and that changes we have to focus on this more or on this less because it's not important. Um, I remember for example um, the um, the client was saying, okay, uh, do not test the security, do not uh, load test, things like that. Okay, this is something we should not focus on. Uh, at one point, we thought we found an area 
where we should test more, and then so, and then they were saying, no, 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 this is not a uh, feature yet. Okay, changing plans. So I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. Were you testing Snagit by by Xmith? No. What was the What was the product? Sales demo tool. Mm -hmm. Right, right, by the Canadian company. Yeah. The Vendasta, right. Yeah, and it's common for those things where we have we're testing this piece and it's integrated with something else and the integration isn't done yet or this piece isn't done yet because we're testing an advanced beta of a real product and we say you know that's not a showstopper. Uh, with Snagit it was most interesting because you could download the beta of their product which is a which is a Windows product and then you could go to the registration to buy it right because it was a beta well it was the next version the registration page wasn't up yet because you couldn't buy it yet because it wasn't out yet so a lot of people said oh showstopper show terrible showstopper you can't buy the product well no you're you're testing it it's not out yet so the people that weren't paying attention to the video wrote test reports that were materially incorrect and got downgraded for it I thought that was the best example of this sort of you really got to watch where your inputs come from and guidance to help guide your testing. Uh, you know, no book has that as part of the process document, but it's important. So, uh, Sanda, uh, you've been quiet, and uh, we'll, well, I guess we'll finish with you. Do you have any plans for Germany about the competition or what you plan to change that you're willing to share? Well, it, it seems that our strategy for the first round was uh, was fruitful. So, we, so we will try to work on this strategy and improve it. That's how we do it every day at work. So that's how we're going to do it now. Um, then we will try to communicate more, um, or take a little longer to accommodate with the with the features and make it fit better. Right. It's, a plan. it's in progress. The planning is in progress right now. Yeah, you did. You did a great job. You won. The, <laughs> to go ahead. Yeah. You 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 won the European European competition. So clearly, you, you did exceptional. Um, and I, I hope you take every advantage. Put that on the resumes and the, you know take credit for that for for the, the being the best in your region. But um, yeah, there's always opportunities for improve. And it sounds like. The force of the pressure of the time is common. Just kind of let communication slip, and uh, I'm really interested into seeing what you do to put what you can put in place to guarantee that it doesn't slip again. Right? That that'll be. I'm really interested in seeing what you actually do. You know, when we get to Germany uh, in the big room as we do the the, the, the World Cup. So it's going to be exciting. Yes. All right. Thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in, a, in just a few short weeks, right? About about five weeks. So should be soon. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.